Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, I will break down for you how to make money by uploading photos you take with your smartphone or with your camera on IEM. How does it exactly work? What are the pros and cons of this allegedly simple earning method? And what's even more important, how much can you expect to make as a hobby photographer on this platform? Well, keep watching to find out. Alright guys, first off, before we get to the technicalities, let me explain really quickly what this platform has been designed for and how it will allow you to turn photos and images you upload through it into real cash. Despite what people usually say about earning money online by selling photos, it is not that difficult or complicated to get started with this and turn your skills as a hobby photographer into profit. So as you can see, we're on the marketplace of IEM, a platform where customers like companies, but also individuals are given the opportunity to download high resolution stock photos for their projects, personal or commercial, like this scenic view of a mountain lake. Now that's stunningly beautiful. Or photos like this one here, showing various fruits for sale on the market, not for free naturally, but in exchange for a payment, customers buy these photos and images and acquire a usage a license, for example, to use the downloaded content for commercial purposes or for personal. This image here, for instance, can be purchased and downloaded for a price of 99 euros. All basic licenses are royalty free and include commercial use across all media. There you have it, guys. And that's also where you come in, because you see quality photos like these here need to be taken by someone, for example by professional photographers, but also by freelancers like you and me, who would like to make a good dime with photography in their spare time. How much can you expect to make with this earning method? Well, it may sound trivial, but the more photos you upload, get sold through the marketplace by customers, the more royalties you will earn per month. It's actually simple math. Another, in my honest opinion, even more relevant aspect of this is that you will allow yourself to earn money passively, I mean 100% passively, which is something that can be applied to most online businesses. I mean, consider this, guys. Once you publish your creative content on the marketplace, it will stay online and, if it performs and sells well, generate profit for you over and over again passively because you will not have to do anything actively with it anymore provided your photos have decent quality and your listing is SEO optimized. And frankly guys, not to downplay anyone's photography skills here, but tell me honestly, why shouldn't be you able to take a photo like this here for instance? I mean, this is a man holding a bowl of soup in his hands. I'm not an expert in photography, but frankly, I believe anyone with a camera or with a smartphone could take a photo like that, earn, earn money from it over and over again every time it gets purchased by a client. If you think about it for a second, guys, you actually don't even need any fancy equipment like high quality gear and cameras and all of that stuff to pull this off. Most smartphones nowadays are capable of taking some really high resolution photos and images. There are numerous editing tools and apps you can download free of charge on your phone to give your content an even more professional touch. So as previously mentioned, as a hobby photographer equipped with nothing more than a mobile device, you in fact have all you need to do this. Speaking of royalties and earnings, for obvious reasons you will not keep the entire revenue of the sale or download, like $349 for example for this photo here, because these guys here run a serious business, so understandably they want to make profit too with the content they publish on their platform. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Nevertheless, and that doesn't mean that you will not be earning any money at all with your uploaded and sold photos. Well, to be precise, it is not exactly the photos you will be selling, but actually usage licenses to customers. Like, for example, these licenses listed here, two of them bringing a revenue of $20 each, the other two sold for $50 and even $250, which adds up and makes a sum of $340 in total, all of that revenue just from four photos you uploaded on the market. And remember, you will be getting paid these royalties every time you sell a license to a customer. The more usage licenses you sell per month, the more money you will be making 100% passively. Make money every time you sell, an image can sell again and again to multiple clients. There you have it guys. 
You'll earn money every time, exactly, and in addition to that you will keep your copyright and be given the freedom to choose which images you want to sell and retain the copyright to your work. And as a cherry on top, IEM will make sure your published content gets seen by more potential buyers, for example through other marketplaces for stock photos, like Getty Images, one of the world's leading photo agencies. If you're familiar with selling creative content like photos or videos on the internet, I suppose you know Getty Images. These guys market and publish some really, I mean really a lot of quality content you can download for your own projects. So getting exposure through photo agencies like this one can definitely give your own published content on IEM a little push in traffic and in sales as well. The exact amount of money you will be earning per month with your published content depends on a variety of factors, on the quality of your work for instance and also on the license type you sell. Customers can choose between several license types, like full licenses for example, these may bring you the highest revenue per sold license, namely even up to $250 in some cases. So all in all, there's definitely quite a huge earning potential behind this. Is there a way how you can increase your earnings? Well, actually there is. Simply work on your photography skills. I know that's pretty self-explanatory and trivial, but also very true. And secondly, make sure you don't stop after uploading your first couple of photos, but instead you keep up the pace and upload constantly because, and that's trivial too, this will increase your potential of selling a photo license. Selling stuff on the internet is in fact a numbers game, guys. The more content you upload, the higher your chances of making sales. That's a proven fact. Once you sell a photo, you will get credited your reward and once you decide to withdraw your earnings, request a payout via PayPal to receive your money within days. They pay you in US dollars and apart from that you will need to have a verified account on PayPal to request withdrawals. Unfortunately, they don't support any other payment methods. Also note that they are currently experiencing delays in payouts. Luckily though, they are working on this issue, so I believe this should be solved pretty soon. To speed up the upload process, I suggest you check out their app or you simply bulk upload your content through a web uploader you will be given access to once you have been accepted as a contributor. The good news however is that there is no real application process. You sign up with your email address or your Facebook account or through the app as a contributing photographer and once that's done, you can immediately get started. And lastly guys, although this can be done by anyone with a camera or a mobile device with access to the internet, I suppose you familiarize yourself with the do's and don'ts of working as a hobby or freelance photographer. The most important hint I can give you is don't force yourself to take photos in topics you are not interested in. Photography is art, photography is passion, so I'd say in order to make the most out of this, you pick one or two topics that you are really passionate about, like for example landscapes, flowers or pets, and focus on them. For obvious reasons, stay away from any no-no topics like these here, and last but not least, create your own content instead of being a copycat. Be original, be kind, be respectful to others and absolutely never use any spamming if you don't want to lose your account permanently. And as a bonus tip, make sure you don't become too dependent from one of these stock photo platforms, but instead you diversify and sign up on several of these, like for example on Phobe, one of the most popular and frequently used apps for freelance photographers, or on Vacteezy, another platform where you can sell your creative content for a good profit However, these guys here for example have two different licensing models. The first royalty program implies your earnings are calculated at a 50% revenue split between you and the publishing platform. The other one, a pay per download model, will allow you to earn $5 per every 1000 downloads for vectors and photos and $10 per every 1000 video downloads. So guys, here we go again, selling photos on sites like these is a numbers game. The more content you upload, the more money you will make at the end of the day. Well, and that's all for today. If you enjoyed this tutorial, hit the like button and I'll see you guys next time.